all got to just praise God. We serve a God who will not die. Hallelujah. You serve a God who is here in such magnitude in our first service under the tent last week that those babies you prayed for right here, those little children, one little boy who's over two had never spoken a clear sentence in his life. All he had ever spoken was gibberish. Like, and they, they, they were worried about him because he used to have seizures. He doesn't now, I don't think. We laid hands on him right here. And I don't know what y'all prayed, but I was praying. I said, devil, loose his tongue. You spirit that's trying to tie up this child's tongue, loose it in the name of Jesus. He went home that afternoon, looked at his parents and said, I'm good to go. They nearly fell over, I'm sure. They didn't tell me that, but the grandmother was amazed. She, I said, what do you think that means, Ginger? She said, I think it means that he was looking at them saying, I'm healed. I'm good to go. The very next day, he goes out and looks around and says, see everything. Everything. Now, see is a little big word that maybe a child who's never spoken a clear sentence can say, but everything is a big word. And he said, see everything. Everything. Oh, the younger child. The one who the dad was holding up here, he had never spoken anything except just like like that. And all of a sudden, on Monday, after y'all prayed, he looked at his mama and clearly said, Mama, can you imagine? Oh, hallelujah. Can you imagine what that mother felt when that child looked and said her name? Sandy had a healing here. Sunday morning, she had jammed her finger when she was doing trees or wood or something. She had jammed her finger. It was bruised. She, she felt that, well, you know, there's other important needs. I won't ask for prayer for that. But she told me later she, she wishes she'd ask for prayer. But I think it's good you didn't in this case. When I went across the altar praying for all y'all, I touched you on the back or on the head or the arm. When I got to Sandy, I felt strongly to touch her hands. I didn't know she was injured. She hadn't told me. I touched her hands. She said, when I, oh, I didn't tell her, Sandy. It felt like her fingers were like on fire and they were hot. And I thought it might melt through my hands. It was that hot feeling. So hands like this. And I thought, I don't know what I'm doing. Because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. 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 My finger, it doesn't hurt anymore, and it like was straight. It wasn't swollen or anything. You couldn't see the bruises. Praise God. You, people of God, you got to praise God for this. I do. 